All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in business here. So, um, welcome to the new video. We got a little new setup here today, but uh, this is going to be pretty good. Uh, we got the Duel of Mandalore set here, which is which is pretty great. So, uh, naturally, we're going to be taking a look at that, do an in-depth look. You'll get the whole LEGO Republic perspective. You get to see my face, too, so that's nice. We got a little face-to-face -face contact here. I really like how this is going so far. I think I will use this in the future. It's a really nice way to get the screen and this as well, and I really appreciate that. I'll probably just upload this straight to YouTube, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, make sure to smash the like, hit subscribe, let's take this deep dive and start out right now. We don't have to like go to any other video or anything. This just made videos a whole lot easier. Wow, look at that. Okay, so first up we got this picture here. You've got Darth Maul and Ahsoka. This is called the Duel on Mandalore uh, dual set. Um, or just Duel on Mandalore, I believe, and you can take a look at that on the box here, um, which is pretty good box art. I want to say it's as good as the Mandalorian Starfighter box art. If you haven't seen that video, it came out yesterday. Make sure to go, uh, go on that video and check that one out. That one is pretty cool. It was a great, great intro again to YouTube for me. It's been about two months, so for those of you who don't know, I'm back, and I'm really excited to, uh, to do this, so this is great. Um, my setup here is just me and my chair with my, my boxes over there, so yeah, pretty good. 147 pieces, says 75310 for 7 plus. I don't know. The, the 7 plus thing has never really made sense to me at all. Um, it looks like the thing in the back over here is a, a cloud. I'm assuming you can see my mouse, guys. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm just assuming. Uh, this, this cloud thing. It looks like it looks like a cloud until you zoom in. You realize, oh, it's like actual helmets. When you zoom out, it looks like this thing is like the face of like some sort of a cloud, um, which is like some sort of an animated cloud, which is so weird to me. But yeah, this this really looks a little small, guys. One hundred forty-seven pieces. I would really refrain from buying this set until it goes on sale. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the minifigures before I go into that. Let's see here. We got Ahsoka. We got Darth Maul. That Darth Maul figure looks really good. Um, wow, I actually don't have a Darth Maul figure, so I'll probably pick this up to get a Darth Maul figure. I really like the leg printing on this. It really shows off the mechanical legs. I think it looks really good on Darth Maul there and, and the open chest. He's such a figure, my gosh. Um, his like I really want to get a Darth Maul. He's got the cool horn piece that I've never really had before, and the uh, the print looks pretty cool on his face as well. The other Ahsoka, or this this Ahsoka, nothing special. It's just the Ahsoka we got in the uh, AAT set. So um, I mean, it's kind of an expensive way. I mean, it's a cheap way to pick up an Ahsoka if you don't already have it. But um, I mean, it's not really that cheap for what you're getting. The set is kind of like. Meh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Ahsoka's nice. She's got printing and a double-sided face. Maul is not going to have a double-sided face because he doesn't have a helmet or hair on the back. So I uh, don't expect that at all. Uh, Ahsoka's only got one lightsaber, I think, in this. Or does she have two? Okay, she clearly has two right here, but uh, right here she only has one. That is, that's kind of weird. Lego needs to really get that together. But okay, here, right here we've got Darth Maul. He's looking pretty cool. Um, he's got his double lightsaber. Very nice to see. Next up, we've got this, ooh, this very nice action battle scene that was literally just on the front of the box art. So we don't care too much. It looks like we've got the throne. You've got the little cloud man in the back. I mean, sorry, the little cell for Darth Maul. And I think we're going to get some closer up pictures of the two of them. The set really feels like it needs something else in the build. It really doesn't feel very uh, substantial, even for a $20 set. Okay, here we've got Ahsoka. Apparently, Darth Maul is just, like, surrendered or something, and now he's being put in. That's not anything like Darth, what Darth Maul would do, but hey, you know what, whatever. He's going in there, so let's closing it up on him. Um, and then we've got, uh, uh, oh, that is a picture of Darth Maul right there. Wow. Wow, he's looking really angry, actually. That's quite funny. This is, like, this is an iconic look from that Clone Wars Season 7. I wonder if we go full screen. Full screen be better. Oh yeah, I have to move this, but hey, it's all good. Okay, wow, that is that is quite the look there for Darth Maul. I really like that look actually. And now we get uh, this sticker here, some pretty good um, stickering right there. It's all one piece, guys. Don't freak out. Not these lines aren't the stickers. Come on. Um, 
that's a really cool looking sticker actually now that I think about it. Um, let's go back up to this picture here where we had Darth Maul sitting on the throne. I mean, who else would you put on the throne? Ahsoka's not going to sit on the throne. Um, you've got that orange thing in the back. Uh, the sticker, of course, doesn't even go all the way down, so you can still see um, right uh, around here and here. Um, absolutely nothing, so that's just that's just great. Great. Thanks, Lego. What is this? That's my question. They're not like torches or anything. If they are, that's that's terrible. Um, I'm truly not really a huge fan of this set because it's just kind of like a ripoff. But I need the Darth Maul fig, so I'm probably gonna wait till it uh, goes on like 20% off and buy it for like $16. That's a much much better price for this, like $15, honestly. Uh, okay. Oh, so it looks like we got some feature here where it can actually, you know, just go back and Darth Maul can just jump out. Pretty good, pretty good. And Ahsoka, you know, is probably just going to, you know, smash the thing, the, the throne in half. Literally, the throne is the only build in this set, and it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't I don't appreciate it at all, actually. Oh, okay, so this feature I totally called. You can ask my brother about it. I totally called that there was going to be some sort of a sliding feature uh, in the bottom of the throne and to, hold, to probably hold the gun or something. Guess what? Here it is. The nice thing about this is you actually get a blaster pistol, so, um, you know, for your Mandalorians that came with terrible blaster pistols in the Mandalorian Starfighter, you want to switch one of those out. That is now possible to do with this. Um, no one's going to buy a billion, but I assume if you bought, like, five of these, you could get five extra blaster pistols and replace all the Mandalorians with them. Because there's three Mandalorians, but there's five blaster pistols total. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> Okay, back of the box art here. Oh. Okay, there's like a delay when I when I touch this. Okay, so we got basically the same picture that we saw from earlier. And also, literally, the box art is just these pictures that we've seen, but just put all over the box. What is this? They couldn't give us any special pictures or anything. They were like, no, no. Let's take this box art picture, this back of the box art picture, and then, of course, let's, every other picture, let's just steal it from the box art and just pretend it's other pictures. So that that is really disappointing. I will say it is decent box art. The Mandalorian Starfighter one is better. Oh, and now the best part. Oh, the best part. The images where it's broken and nothing's happening. That's what we love Lego's product images. Oh, man. Oh, this... Okay. Well, obviously... I'm not too jealous about this guy. He looks like he's having fun, but there's not much there to have fun with. So, you know, hey. But, hey, I'm not trying to trash on this set. If you think this set is good, um, go, go for it. Go buy it for $20. That's a terrible price per piece uh, percentage ratio thing, by the way. If you can hear that screaming, that is my siblings. I apologize. They're often like this. <clears throat> and then we have, of course, another picture, but this is... The same one we already had, but just kind of like a, a more like down perspective. Um, nothing crazy here. Looks like the cell is made of like the door window piece uh, that can like slide in and out. That's okay. I was kind of hoping for a more like solid mold of it, like uh, one huge giant mold. I felt like that would have been acceptable and made it actually worth the $20 um, because you know, this really isn't worth it. But if you have a giant mold in there, one could expect that to be $20, and I would have been totally okay with that. Kind of like the Han Solo and Carbonite uh, piece, but, you know, just a little different, kind of with the with the back. I was assuming you could, like, open up the back and pull them out or something, but I guess not. Oh, my gosh. No one's dying, I promise you guys. Um... I always use this music. Guys, remember the good product animations? These are terrible. They're just literally showing all of these pictures that we could already look at if we wanted to. And then, of course, the, the 360 is always nice, actually, um, to show on here. Even though I've never actually done this before. I'm just assuming it is. Because you get you get a look at the back and like some pictures like the Mandalorian Starfighter. If you ever uh, like, I know I wasn't able to do this with the last video because I made it slightly differently, not in the same format. Uh, but but I was able um, 
to actually go on the 360 and look at the back of the ship because you're not actually able to look at the back of the ship at all um, <clears throat> in my video, which is which is really sad. Um, but that's kind of, you know, how that goes. But it's got like a cool new piece on the back, I think. So uh, everyone go check that out if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, nothing really crazy. I guess you can kind of see the mechanism here. Uh, right right there for you know the the flippy thingy so yeah nothing crazy here guys this is the Mandalorian throne and vault uh, set uh, called the duel on Mandalore nothing crazy here I'm probably gonna wait like I said earlier and buy it for $16 instead of 20 I would encourage people not to if they're kind of on the edge of for this set uh, I would encourage people to not get this set honestly I don't think it's really that worth it um, when you can be buying, you know, $60 Mandalorian Starfighter. Honestly, this is probably the worst set of the wave, which is really sad, actually, uh, because this is a really good set. But, yes, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, smash like, hit subscribe, do all the things. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.